Okay, so in this exciting technique video, I'm gonna talk about the double-handed technique and when it's getting hot weather, um, it's very important, I find, to use the double-handed technique. But there's certain caveats that I like to incorporate with my um, double-handed technique, which allows me to, um, well, it just helps me perform a lot better. And um, so, a lot of people think that and say on their videos, the bigger the size squeegee, the quicker you're gonna work. Right, so the, the bigger the size squeegee, bear in mind most window cleaners aren't that app great at using the squeegee, um, positioning it, having a good technique, having a good soap solution to work with. Um, having a big squeegee is actually detrimental. But there is something big that I want to use that's not gonna require a lot of skill, but I don't want my squeegee, personally for me, to be too big. Now, my uh, favorite size squeegee to use, I've always called this, called this size a 16 inch, but actually I measured it the other day, and I remember when I actually made this, um, this is the first liquidator channel ever to come out. It's actually 17 inches, it was an 18 inch, and I cut it down, um, and uh, I had the original end clips on, which were smaller than these, and, um, yeah, that's when it was a 16 inch, but now I'll put these bigger, longer um, clips on. It's now a 17 inch. So this is my mainly used squeegee for domestic and commercial big pane windows. I do often use a 22 inch, but I don't want people to get hooked up on using the bigger size squeegee because it's a better uh, squeegee to use. It's not, it's a lot of the time it's gonna cause people a lot of problems. So. Bigger is not always better in some respects, but bigger is better in other respects. So what you want to do is have something that's a lot easier to, to control, um, which would be the washer rather than the squeegee. So what I've got here is a pretty big squeegee, and this is a pretty big window, and that will fit inside that window. And first of all, let's use a washer. So this is a 22 inch washer. This is my mainly used big washer to, to work with. I do use the 36 as well, uh, but that's mainly for indoor work on in a, in a shopping centre with big, big, big panes. These aren't big, big, big panes, but they are quite big. So I'm gonna show you the problem. And also these windows are not very good to work on, especially when it's hot and it's sunny. Um, I'm gonna show you the problem with having a big squeegee. So I've got this nice saturated soap solution and it's a nice size to get that window wet very quickly. Uh, but I'm gonna put my big squeegee in the right place at the right time. And there's a pretty nasty problem there. The squeegee lifted up and caused that much issue, All right? So they're harder to use and of course, um, harder to position. This, this for me isn't, going in my favor. So most window cleaners, what you see on YouTube, working on uh, pretty big panes of windows, a lot of the American guys on their shop fronts and uh, their uh, stores that they work on, they use an 18 inch, right? So an 18 inch for me is a little bit too small uh, because I'm not washing this window up as quick as I would like. Uh, but I'll, I'm, as I said, I'm gonna use this <clears throat> 17 inch here and that's that's not good enough for me for a number of reasons I want to soak that window up quicker and also it's not big enough for me to capture the solution coming off right so I want ideally where is it I don't want to use the wrong size here well lots of sizes down here I want a good ratio difference in size from the squeegee to the washer. So this is ideal for me to wash these, these size windows and bigger um, and uh, slightly smaller. Uh, and the, the, the beauty of this size washer compared to the 18 inch with the bucket that I use, this actually goes right down to the bottom of my bucket. So I don't have any water left inside the bucket with an 18 inches, like that much difference from where it sits above the bottom of the bucket and I get loads of water buildup. 
This soaks up the water in the, in the bucket that I use. Just get a bit more water on here and um, add the soap on the washer. So I've not seen any videos in the last 15 years of watching videos on YouTube about what size ratio would be more beneficial for window cleaners to work on doing the double handed technique. So hopefully this is the, the very first video made on the size difference. So what I've got is a very quick soak up on the window, but I don't want my squeegee size to be big. I want enough space to maneuver around. I want to aim for tooling technique and I want to be able to capture that solution as much of it as possible on that um, size washer just works so much easier so also having a big washer allows me not to make that much more movement with my washing hand I am making more maneuvers with the smaller size squeegee but hey I'm focusing on uh, technique here and quality and getting this squeegee to perform uh, the, the best possible um, so yeah, this is why I use this size. I always called it a 16 inch, but it's actually a 17 inch. I'm gonna show you the selection of washers, how I store them. This is in a old screen wash and it sits in my van like this and it does collect a lot of water there, but I can just empty that every uh, so often. And um, yeah, and that's how they sit and they don't fall over. This big one here lays against the, the big bang tank and it kind of keeps everything stable. That's the 36 inch, so I use that inside a shopping centre, but I'm mainly big windows, and I'm quite a lot of windows that I work on. For residential, I'm using a 22 inch. Um, and then it's an 18, uh, but I hardly ever, unless they're really small windows I'm working on, I hardly ever use a 14 inch. So, big is sometimes better, uh, but I would focus on having a bigger size washer rather than a bigger size squeegee because using a big squeegee is uh, very difficult. You want to get that positioning, you want that space maneuverability. But on a very hot day on, on these nasty windows to work on where the solution will dry very quickly, plus you can have a lot of solution coming off, um, very saturated windows, um, you're going to collect that water on a bigger washer. 